Hello and welcome back to our latest edition of Standouts and Fizzouts. Why? Well, first of all, everybody's got their own versions of winners and losers. This is ours. Standouts, players that stood out, uh, and fizzouts because pop. Pop is the greatest thing since sliced bread. We think it should replace all water. Our wife, my wife would probably be a little upset because she knows how much I love pop uh, and the fact that I need to drink more water. I know. It's like, what's the ad? Uh, what's the cow? Eat more chicken? Whatever. I don't care. Pop is the greatest thing. Mountain Dew, Pepsi, Coca-Cola. Doesn't matter. Let us know what you guys drink because it is the greatest. It is the greatest thing since sliced bread. Um, so today we're talking about uh, standouts and fizzouts uh, for the Las Vegas Raiders versus the Miami Dolphins game. It was McDaniels versus McDaniel. You had to love it. Uh, a lot of different things going on there um, and I, I honestly felt this was honestly the first game where I, I saw this Raiders even without Derek Carr Devontae Adams had to run for all those guys there was some a lot of good things for this offense. You talk about starting the game, uh, going out and, and scoring a touchdown with Zamir White. Uh, you know, you really got to pull it up here uh, and talk about this thing, the nitty gritty. So um, you got Jared Stidham who went seven of ten for eighty yards. Um, I, I I think he continues to just. I think he's going to be that number two guy. Uh, Nick Mullins is right there as well. Uh, but Chase Garbers, even some things. Um, from Chase Garbage, you really liked, who went 6 of 9 for 54 yards. You know, uh, these quarterbacks all played pretty well. Um, you know, and it really was a battle of the defenses in a way. Um, and a lot of drives that stalled uh, for both teams. And now we'll talk about, you know, Britton Brown. Britton Brown's a stud. That that run at the end of it was at 36 yards. Uh, yes, uh, this this running back room for the Las Vegas Raiders is truly stacked. They've got basically five guys that could all uh, uh, find work here in the NFL. You know, Kenyon Drake, uh, you know, Britton Brown, Josh Jacobs, uh, you know, Zamir White, like we mentioned, Amir Abdul, like the list goes on. Uh, you know, even uh, Austin Walker to a degree. You know, there's just, there's so many talent in this Raiders backfield, which is never a problem, never a problem. So, yes, Britton Brown led the way with nine carries for 70 yards. Chase Garber showing off some of that athleticism on both of those uh, two big scrambles uh, for Garbers there who uh, finished with four carries for 44 yards. You know, a little bit of a slower night for Zamir White. Uh, I saw some good things out of Dylan Parman. I also saw some, uh, and the rest of that, this offensive line, uh, what was it, Alex Cotton Sr. Uh, got beat, uh, what was it, on that, on that twist. Or no, it was it was just straight up uh, Zach Sealer just coming in and, uh, yeah, just giving him, him the business with that. Was it a swim move? I can't remember what it was, but got kind of schooled on that play. Was that the only sack, I think, to, uh, tonight? Uh, no, excuse me. That was definitely not the only sack. That was uh, one of four sacks uh, by the Dolphins. So that was a tough night for... Um you know, Con Senior in that regards, but you know, I, there's still a little bit left to be played. We're going to talk about the the Raiders' offensive line and what we've seen, who we think should start, uh, and, and you know, just kind of uh, button that up before we head into the third and final preseason game. Uh, you know, for most teams, and really uh, talk about you know as we get into the regular season what needs to happen. So, uh, but back to uh, the Raiders here. You know, j um, in my mind, Jesper Horstead uh, he earned himself a look at the at that tight end three spot. Like that, he had a great night, three catches, 53 yards. Keelan Cole, like tight. Ron Johnson had a great night. Don't get me wrong. I think he's probably solidified himself as that number three wide receiver. Against my wishes, DJ Turner. I'm hanging out for uh, DJ Turner. Um, you know, I've, I, I've loved him ever since he came out of Maryland. I felt like he, he got underutilized there as well. But, you know, uh, you know, you got DJ Turner. You got Tyron Johnson. Uh, you know, all, all these guys. Keelan Cole. You know, there's I know there's names I'm missing uh, off the top of my head. But overall, those guys, that, that battle just continues to get tougher and tougher. Um, and I think those guys are going to continue, continue to battle it out through the rest of this thing here so um and then you talk about defensively sam webb oh baby what was it what a hit he laid on miles gaskin oh Oh, I could feel that in my bones. Uh, that was awesome. Uh, Luke Masterson uh, and uh, Sam Webb both uh, had a total of six tackles leading the way for the Raiders. Also, Darian Butler, first play of the game, or what was it, first or second? Man, oh, man, oh, man, that big tackle for loss. He is making a name for himself, uh, being a reason, uh, being a player you need to watch to make the roster as that UDFA. He's a stud. I think he deserves to make a shot, at least play special teams. Deshaun Bauer, uh, what was it, had a sack this week. Didn't he have a sack against the Vikings, too? Continues to make a name for himself. And uh, I think he could be yet another defensive line. Uh, defensive lineman that is for the Raiders that could contribute. Um, you know, there was a lot of different guys that I felt stood out. I, I didn't, uh, I thought uh, Neil Farrell Jr. played pretty well. Uh, I know Rocky Sin got a little bit in there as well. So, you know, a lot of different things going on for the Raiders. A lot of different guys making plays. Uh, you love to see it. Like I said, both defenses really played well in my mind. I was really, uh, I was really encouraged by that. Then you go up, uh, you know, to Skyler Thompson, who in my mind, like I said, I felt Skyler Thompson probably deserves to be at least considered as the backup quarterback over Teddy Bridgewater. I said what I said. I said what I said. Teddy Bridgewater, don't get me wrong. I felt like he is a very good backup quarterback in this NFL, uh, in this league, and he's a very good quarterback, a very good uh, stopgap quarterback as well. But Skyler Thompson now, 
9 of 10, 129 yards and a touchdown. Like, just continually week to week, he shows that gunslinger mentality. Uh, you know, he can beat you with his legs as well. Like, he, in my mind, uh, you know, is a very good quarterback. Now, the, the legs bit, yes, it doesn't necessarily uh, show that week to week. But he, he can stand in the pocket. He can deliver it. He can scramble. I love Skylar Thompson. I think he deserves a shot to be that quarterback, too, for the Miami Dolphins. Ted Bridgewater going 10 of 20 for 119 yards. No touchdowns, no picks. And the man of the hour, or not maybe not the man of the hour, but um, the man that I was most interested to see Tua Tungavailoa, uh, Tungavailoa, excuse me, who went 6 of 8 for 58 yards. It was a solid evening. He didn't have any of his number one wide receivers. He was out there making plays, doing his thing. I loved it. I loved it. Other than Mike Isecki, of course, but um, uh, I, I was really excited to see uh, what he was able to come out and do. Um, you know, uh, Tua, I think, is going to do some great things for the Dolphins this year. I, I'm I'm one of the few that have full confidence uh, Full confidence that is, I can't talk to him, I'm sorry, uh, for Tua uh, moving forward. I, I think he's got the weapons. I think he's got everything he needs. Um, you know, in the running game, I'm not going to lie. It's been a little rough for the Dolphins. Uh, the offensive line seemed to have a little bit of, of a tougher time opening up holes uh, on, on all phases. And I'm not just saying that uh, just because of, uh, you know, where it started with Chase Edmonds. But, I mean, Chase Edmonds, to me, uh, he's going to be a stud. I, I think that he really showed what he can do on those two big uh, passes he caught from uh, from Tua as well as, you know, I, I really feel like uh, Sony Michelle and the rest of this. This running back room is stacked, but it's a question of can the Miami Dolphins offensive line do enough to help it out in the run game. So I'm excited to see, an in, very interested to see how, uh, you know, um, McDaniel will be able to really Really enhance this running game for the Miami Dolphins. Um, uh, Eric uh, Uzu, oh, hold on, I'm gonna, I need to get this right. Eric Uzu, comma pronunciation. I need to get this right. I've tried so many times to get this name right, uh, and I, I fail. I fail every single time. Uh, hold on, I need to bring it back here. Nope, 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 nope. There we go. Okay, yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, get, just bear with me for a second because I want to make sure I get this right. Let's see. Maybe, maybe you guys can hear it too. Okay, here we go. How to pronounce dot com. That's where it's at. Izukana. What? Izukana. Izukana. Izukanama. Izukanama. Whatever. You guys get the point. Anyway, um, we're gonna call him E and E. e uh, what is it? Uh, M and M. That 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 doesn't work. Anyway, uh, so uh, E and E went out there and balled with Skyler Thompson. Like they seem to have a, a very interesting relationship to start things out. Uh, I I do feel like they are a team that, quite honestly, uh, is gonna be very interesting moving forward. Like that those two, Skyler Thompson uh, and E and E, because you know six catches, 114 yards, just kept feeding him the ball there. Uh, you know when you got a playmaker like that on the outside, just keep throwing it to him. Just keep throwing it to him. Um, you know, I, I'm really excited to see how those two continue to develop with the Dolphins. Braylon Sanders also had three catches of 40 yards. Mike Isecki added three for 27 as well. Uh, overall, I, I was very encouraged by what we saw from the Dolphins wide receivers, uh, not named Jalen Waddle and Tyreek Hill. So I'm excited to see who really does separate themselves there. Now, uh, Channing Tindall had a total of six tackles as well as uh, Porter Gustin had fed five tackles a sack. Um, you know, and like I said, you know, I talked about uh, Ben Stilley, uh, was it the former Cornhusker? He was uh, he was a stud coming out, had three total tackles tonight. Um, you know, also Zach C. Uh, had a sack like he is the most underpraised defensive end in the NFL don't at me don't at me this man does not get near the uh, near the um the, the love that he deserves. Now, it was a little bit of a rougher night for the Dolphins in terms of their offense. I felt like they are, excuse me, their defense, uh, like it was a rough start, that is. I was expecting them to shut down the Raiders or at least give them a run for their money. Don't get me wrong, Zach Sealer and company uh, made it tough, but overall, the Raiders were able to punch it in with their uh, with their twos. So, uh, it's preseason. You take this stuff with a grain of salt, but I was not expecting that from the Raiders offense. They did a fantastic job, really, uh, with that first drive and throughout the rest of the game. Both defenses showed up to play and it was very apparent. Uh, but that's it. That's our standouts and fizzouts from the Las Vegas Raiders versus the Miami Dolphins. Make sure you guys like and subscribe down below. Leave a like and a comment. It helps people find the show. Uh, say hi to Frank. Oh, wait, say hi to Frank. There's Frank the football over there. Franklin for all the for all of those of you that know your football companies or your football brands, if you will. Uh, but make sure you guys like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you uh, would. Uh, and finally, if you would like us to cover anything else, send us an email at the sportsbp at yahoo.com or put it in the comment section down below and we would love to cover it. But let us know what you guys think about standouts and fizz outs. Coke, Coke. We're not sponsored by them, but they make good stuff as well as any any pop company. Doesn't matter. Pop is the stuff. But let us know what you guys think about standouts and fizz outs from the Las Vegas Raiders versus the Miami Dolphins in the late, in their latest preseason game.